the Cleveland Cavaliers are in serious trouble and they just keep losing games. So, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about, yeah, you know who, Cleveland. The Cleveland Cavaliers, the so-called best team in the Eastern Conference with LeBron James. Alright, I know they're good, I know they're great, I know LeBron is the king, and I know he's up there as one of the greatest players of all time, but they are not playing like Cleveland right now. They are not playing, I mean, this month they went 7 and 8. They lost 8 games, they lost more games than they won. You've got LeBron James, you've got Kyrie Irving, you've got Kevin Love, and you're losing to Dallas, you're losing to all these teams. What is going on with Cleveland right now? I literally do not get it. Let's just go through who they've lost to, alright? They beat the Kings, they lost to the Warriors. Okay, that's, that's fair enough. In fact, they didn't lose to the Warriors, they got killed by the Warriors. They beat Phoenix, they lost to the San Antonio Spurs, they lost to the Pelicans. And this is where it starts going a little bit crazy. They lost to the Pelicans, they lost to the Kings, then they beat the Nets, just, then they beat the Thunder, and then they all, they just lost to the Mavericks. Now you're telling me you're going to lose to the Pelicans? With no Anthony Davis, alright, they lost to the Pelicans with no Anthony Davis. Now you tell me. Who do the Pelicans have without Anthony Davis? And Cleveland had Kyrie, LeBron, and Kevin Love that game. Not to mention Kyrie, I'm pretty sure in that game he dropped 40 something points. LeBron James got a triple double. Yeah, they still lost, alright? Now, I want to talk about why they're in such trouble, and I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section, alright? I will say this, okay? And this is probably the most interesting point out of everything LeBron James. He plays the most minutes in the entire NBA. Do you know how crazy that is? Alright, he's 32 years old, coming up on 33, I believe, and he plays the most amount of minutes. Like, I know it's LeBron, alright? I know it's LeBron James. But he can't do this forever. He cannot do this forever. He can't play the most amount of minutes in the NBA his entire career until he's about 50. I know he's LeBron, alright? I know he is, and I know he's something that we've never really seen before. I mean, he's six foot eight. he can run like a point guard, he can jump like a crazy dude, I know. I'm just saying, he can't play the most amount of minutes at this age with the so-called best team in the Eastern Conference. And I tell you what's crazy, and people aren't, people aren't talking about this, if Cleveland was in the West, they would be fourth in the West right now behind Houston. Now, when you talk about teams, you've got Houston with James Harden. He doesn't really have, I don't want to say he doesn't have anybody else, but in comparison to LeBron James, he really doesn't. I mean, you're, you can't compare Eric Gordon and Kyrie Irving. It's crazy. And Cleveland would be fourth in the West, just going off by records right now, which is once again why, uh, James Harden is most likely going to be the MVP this season just because he's not only averaging, you know, he's not averaging a triple-double, he's close, but he's doing it with getting wins, unlike Russell Westbrook. I know I know, plenty of people have made videos on it, but it, it'll be interesting, by the way, just to briefly touch up on the MVP race right now. It'll be interesting to see what happens if Westbrook can continue the triple-double streak, but I, I still got Harden winning it. As of now, because that is just crazy. He the other day he got 50 points with a triple double, like, and that's the second time this season as well. Crazy. But back on Cleveland, it really does say something about their bench. It does. I mean, when you think about their bench, you think of pretty good shooters with Carl Corver, Channing Fry. You think of players that you know they. I mean, they're not really that good when you think about it. You've got who do you have? You got Richard Jefferson. DeAndre Liggins, Kay Felder, you've got... Well, J the thing is, you know, J.R. Smith isn't back right now. When he comes back, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Because I think he's honestly... People might laugh at this comment, and I don't care if you do. J.R. Smith can seriously win a game for this Cleveland team. We know he has on and off nights. Sometimes he's cold. Sometimes he's hot like crazy hot. But the thing is... The Cavaliers, you can tell they miss him. You can tell since he's been out, 
They really, really miss him. Kyle Korver, they picked him up. He's not doing what J.R. Smith can do. Obviously, yeah, he's a good shooter. He's a lights-out shooter. We saw it in Atlanta. We've seen it in Chicago. We've seen it in Utah. We've seen it everywhere, okay? He's a good shooter. But he's not J.R. Smith. I don't care who you think's a better shooter. J.R. Smith is more than a shooter, though. And I think people really, really sleep on that. You know, obviously, he's known as a shooter. But he will find the good look. He'll swing the ball around. And it's something I don't really see with Kyle Korver. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is obviously LeBron James and his point guard type of backup point guard that he wants. He wants a backup point guard, we know about it. He wants a facilitator to come in. He needs a veteran guy. My phone's going off, I apologize. But he needs a veteran guy. He doesn't even have to be a veteran. Just Because Kay Felder, he's not that guy. LeBron's already said it. He's a good player, but he's a rookie. And he doesn't know how to win championships just yet. And it's fair enough for LeBron to say that, but it's just, they need to get somebody quick. They need to get someone quick. LeBron's doing all the heavy lifting right now, getting triple doubles, getting, you know, playing the most amount of minutes in the NBA, which is once again just crazy. And Cleveland still doesn't have that backup point guard. They need that backup point guard. And we, we've talked about it in other videos in, in our Trade Rumors episodes that we have on this channel, but we've talked about who they should get, Rondo or Darren Williams or uh, Mario Chalmers, Norris Cole, just some backup veteran guys. And to be honest with you, I don't know why it hasn't happened. Why hasn't it happened yet? I like I know that LeBron puts a lot of pressure on the management, and I think he really needs to at this point because at the moment they're not winning games, and it's embarrassing. I mean, you can't be losing to the Nets. You can't be losing to Dallas. Even their coach Rick Carlisle called them a shit team. Bruh. Now you know you're bad when your freaking coach says that you're a shit team, okay? Now I know he was joking around, but he's not lying. I mean, it's Dallas at the moment. Yeah, Dallas was once good. Not this year. They, they, I don't know what they're doing. They're either tanking or they're just, they don't have the right team, but get Darren Williams from Dallas. I don't know. Do something, Cleveland, because right now you are in trouble and you need to do something quick. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about Cleveland. Let me know your thoughts about LeBron James at this point, playing the most amount of minutes in the NBA. You know, the thing is, and this is the last thing I promise, this is the last thing I'll touch on. It's not like LeBron James isn't shooting a decent field goal percentage as well. He's he's playing well. Now, you can't be this bad. I mean, okay, they're not bad. It's obviously Cleveland. They're the best team in the East right now. I'm just saying, like, for Cleveland... The Cavaliers with the team with LeBron James, and obviously they they might just be in a slump. Okay, they might just be in a slump. But also to make matters worse, Ke Kevin Love just got injured, so that's that's another thing. But you see, LeBron's not playing that bad, and it's still Cleveland losing. Now, if they were losing to okay, if they were losing to good teams. The Clippers, the Spurs, the Warriors, I guess, which they also have been, which also may be a little bit of a worry. It'd be fine. It'd be, okay, you're losing to decent teams, but you're losing to Dallas. Like, I, I just don't think that's a good thing at the moment. Like, especially, I guess, look, we're not even at the halfway point of the season yet, but they... It's just not looking good at the moment. I want to know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about Cleveland right now. Let me know what you think about LeBron James. Let me know what you think about just, you know, the whole management. Are they going to get a backup point guard? I mean, I think they will. They have to at this point. It just depends who. Who do you think they'll go after? Let me know. Uh, yeah. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like. Let's aim for 3,000 likes. And if you're new around here and you enjoy these type of discussions, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.